Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right now I'm filming at night. Probably not going to upload it till tomorrow, which would be Thursday. So right now we're doing a little bit of after hours. This is Soho California Vintage after hours. Um, so what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to go over pieces that still are available for anybody who was interested or missed it on the previous videos. And I also did a stop at the community. So we're going to show a few pieces that I got at the community and I will give prices out. And um, if you're interested, you email me at Soho California Vintage at gmail.com and um, I prefer screenshot of what you're interested in what you were interested in or timestamp I prefer screenshot though and um, yeah uh, payment is required immediately if not I'm gonna go on to this the next person who's um, asking about it okay so Without further ado, in that long rant, um, this gorgeous piece is still available. She is everything. Everything. She's in very good condition. She does have adjustable extender. So she could be shortened up to 3 inches. And she is 25 still worth every single penny I love the hard the hardware on here how it's bent right there you have these light blue um, faceted stones and everything just works really well so I will I will have her until she's ready to go to her new home um, this one I have not yet shown this is a really cute cutout of a boy and a girl kissing. The chain is has seen better days. And because of that, I'm only going to ask um, $5. Most likely you would want to change out the, the chain. Or you could keep it as is. It has, you know, a nice industrial look to it. This is not, uh, this piece is not silver. It's probably more like a, maybe a stainless steel so if anybody wants this piece, it's five. And bronze, bronze. What are you crying about? So this one I have not shown yet. And I'm not gonna show you who's, who the maker is. I want you to guess who you think is the maker on this one. Cause it blew me out of the water. I couldn't believe it. It sits like a collar. All right. The maker is Monet. I couldn't believe it. I was like, what? So if anybody's interested in this cool razzy-dazzy piece, she will be 12. Um, I think I paid five for her. Let me see. Yeah, she was five. So, um, she's going to be 12. You know what? I'll make her 10. I'll make her 10. I mean, I'm not, I'm not making a lot, lot of money on this, but if anybody wants this one, um, she has 10. That's, that's nice. It's like a, it's like a collar of some sort. Okay. This gorgeous piece has not sold. And... She has um, pink, where's the pink cat? She has pink cat eye. She has dichroic glass. Do you see how much different, different beads we have going on in here? But it all matches. Look at this. And then on the side, she has like this stone, um, porous stone heart. And she's very, very long. Oh, and there's... Is that a... Yeah, I didn't even notice before. There's some rondelles. So she's long. She could be worn double. Here's her 
fantastic clasp. Not clasp. Her, uh, well, it's a toggle clasp. And look at how long she is. She just keeps going. She's beautiful. She's made very well. And um, she's 15. She is 15 and worth every penny. Okay. Um, this heart still hasn't sold, which I'm really, really surprised. This glass heart. She's on a long silver tone um, chain. Oh, um, if anybody wants her, I will do, um, I'll do six. I'll do six. And that's a really, really good deal. I went from 10 to six. So there are some sterling pieces that have not sold still. Here we have, excuse the, the yellow, that's from testing gold and silver. Um, here is a precious mineral. I don't know what it is. It looks like malachite and turquoise mutated together. And this is all sterling right here. This whole chain is sterling. Um, this piece is 15, 15. I still have these, um, these are solid sterling. I tested it. These were obviously made homemade. They don't have the 925 fiber sterling stamp in them, but they appear to be like, um, silver to me. Look at how cool that is. That is so artsy. This is 10. And I still have the heart. And the heart is 10 as well. And it, it opens up really easy. That's really cute. Um, Two more pieces before I get into this one. Oh, this is actually new. If anybody wants... This is, um, it holds the, um, glasses, but isn't this cool? Look at, it has the faceted crystals. It's on a silver tone. Oh, it looks like it's kind of dirty. So it's silver right there. Maybe it's just a little wear. But if anybody wants this to hold their glasses, it's $5. And then I still have this Bulgaroni. He is solid silver on the cuff. And this is a giraffe. He's very, very special. I assume that this came from the same household that made these pieces. And this one is 20. He is so fun. I know it sounds so cliche, but I would totally wear this to like the zoo. <laughs> I love the giraffes. Okay, um, this one is gold vermeil. Wa it's a gold vermeil. It's a gold wash over sterling silver. I've tested this one. It has the two secure clasps. I mean, the hinges on the side. Look at the clasp. Look at the three little squares right there. This is really, really vintage. Look at that. She's a little over seven inches in length. I think she's like seven and I'll re I'll resize her right now. But this is solid sterling. So we have different stations of the squares with the rhinestones. And this is 25, which is a really great deal for this piece. These pieces are like far and few. So let me measure. Hope everybody's doing great. Um, Paula, your your prize that you want is was sent in the mail, I believe, yesterday. Okay, so she's seven and a half. This piece is oops. This piece is seven and a half. 
I know it looks very dainty through the camera. In person, the camera doesn't do it justice. Like, it really doesn't. In person, this piece is everything. Like, and I, I've actually had her for a while. I came across her in a lot. I thought she was special. And I tested her for silver, and she's silver. Because she, she was, I think she's marked silver, and I was like, silver? <laughs> You're a clown, Gina. You are a clown. <laughs> She's sending me clown emojis. She knows I'm filming. Um, <laughs> um, damn. Okay, so moving on to the piece. So if you're if you've seen all these pieces and are not interested, I'm moving on to some new stuff. Hold on. So, at the community... Oh, God, did this tangle up again? Okay. There are these two pieces that are... They, they're getting tangled up in everything. Oh, my gosh. There are these two pieces. So, look at this mama. So, let me... Let me show you guys something here. I thought that these rhinestone shapes were different. It kind of looked like the shape of coral. They just have, they're just, they got their own thing going on. And then the silver, I mean, and then the pendant in the middle, it hangs. It's very clean and sparkly. And if anybody wants this, look at how great that lays. Oh my God. Yes. If anybody wants this one, it is 12. And I will give you the full length of what she could be. Uh, where's my tape? Measuring tape. Okay. So... She is as long as 11 and a half inches, but she could be shortened up. Do you see all this room right here that she could be sh shortened up? It looks like one, two, three, four, over four inches. Yeah. So if anybody wants her, she's 12. Yes, ma'am and sir. This one, I couldn't leave it behind. I just think it's so cute. Let me take this little sticker on you off. Um, if anybody has a granddaughter, a niece, a daughter, a, you know, a young daughter. Um, they had these two necklaces together. And this one is actually marked silver. I don't know if it really is silver. It's marked silver right there. That kind of looks like a Fugazi uh, stamp. Hold on. I'll tell you right now if it... Yeah, it's not silver. But if anybody wants these, these two together... Oh, my God. They are causing some issues. I had them in the bag with my other, the other pieces I'm going to show you. Oh my god, they were causing some drama. The other pieces were not having it. Okay. Um, I just tangled this. I think even more. Okay. Come on. Come on. So, if, <laughs> once I get this going, if anybody wants this, um, it's $5 for both. <sighs> Let me see here. Let me unhinge this. Okay. So it's this. This cute lollipop. 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 That song reminds me of that movie, um, Stand By Me. I think it's Stand By Me. Where the, the young friends are traveling to go find um, somebody who... Um, there was like talk talk in the town of somebody had died and the body was like left in a creek 
anywhere anyways okay see it that's how it lays so we have the the rainbow on the heart and then the lollipop so it's five dollars for both what a fantastic deal so i'm gonna open this up this bag was a dollar 99 but before i get into that before before let me show you guys what i got which um it looks like i'm kind of missing one here okay so look at this piece this one is super fun the back is a like felt like material you could tell this was made by hand she's fun and I'll measure from here to here and this one is 15 okay so from uh, the top till she reaches this part right here we're looking at give or take nine and a half and then she's as long as 12 inches okay that one's fun sorry I just hit that and then this piece I don't know just something drew me to it do you guys see the glass it's like it kind of looks like maybe water in it waves of water it's blue and white and she's very very long look at this I'll measure her right now so somebody could wear it long depending on how tall they are they could wear it as a flapper length or they could double it you see how it's doubled or if you have a smaller neck no I no, that's too small but I'm trying to think here uh, if you have, um, no, that's not going to work either. So just doubling or long. And if anybody wants this one, it's 12. Let me see her. I'll tell you how long she is. She's a long one. She's 23, 23 inches. Love this. Mmm. Okay, I got uh, one particular piece, but it's from my Under the Sea video that's still um, in the making. And then here we have this gorgeous, they're like amethyst chips, peridot, citrine, and probably like a quartz clear crystal. She's long. So if anybody wants this one, it is $12. Let's see here. She is 17 and a half inches length. These are also great for um, crafts. Like if you wanted to make smaller bracelets or a smaller necklace with a bracelet. Fantastic. Okay. So this one is actually um, really, really fun. I was a little confused. I'm still a little confused, but it's all beadwork. You see that? It's all beadwork by hand. And then it comes down right here. Okay. So at first I thought, it's a seahorse and then I go wow no it kind of looks like a lizard oh no wow it kind of looks like a parrot no the tail so I don't know what that is maybe it's a seahorse lizard parrot of some sort it's an animal so if anybody wants this um, fabulous piece it's 12 let me give you a measurement where's okay she's she's long she's nice so uh, let's see here so from this part to the opening right here the apex it's 13 inches it's 13 inches and then probably 14 15 like 16 15 and a half 16 but 
Isn't that fun? Oh, great. I think I get too excited about this stuff. I really have... I have, a, I have a lot of passions for different, um, you know, appreciations as far as like workmanship or artistry, but, um, and I still do my furniture. I still paint my furniture and I know I've been talking about, should I film it? Are you guys interested? And you know, I've been getting replies like, yeah, we want to see. It's just sometimes I'm such on the go, go, go. <sighs> um, it just, I don't have enough time. So maybe I could film my next piece that I'm doing. Uh, I don't know. I, th I already kind of started it. So, yeah. We'll see for the future. So this piece, check out this gorgeous piece. So this is material. It's kind of like that lace that they put over, you know, curtains or just something or a dress. And then look what they did. They added this. Super fun. So it is adjustable. So, you know, it doesn't have to be so tight sitting as a choker. I love this. I seen it and I was like, mm, what is that? I just see little things peeking out where all the necklaces are at. <laughs> the girls there probably think I'm crazy. They're like, oh yeah, this one looks fun. Okay, I didn't do this right. So let me... Uh, so this one is... um. This one's 13. I'm going to give you the measurement of, well, what can I give you a measurement of? It, it'll fit somebody's neck because look at the extender on that. Yeah. I guess I was going to go across. Um, I'm trying to think. I guess I can measure the, the outlet in the middle. I don't think this is the way to do it though. Like, it's showing like a six inch. No, it's it's bigger than that. It's like, it's showing like a six and a oh, darn six and a half seven inch opening right here, the hole. Dead center, but uh, it'll fit anybody. Even if if anybody has a fat neck like me, I have a fat turkey neck. And if you don't think you have a fat neck, even better. <laughs> and if you do, even better. <laughs> All right, so this, okay. This one, I was like looking at it, but I saw how big this piece was, and I was like, what is on the other side? Bam, look at that. Isn't that so cool? Mother of Pearl. That speaks, that is so strong, this pendant. So it sits like this. It has the white chips, the faux black pearls. I think this speaks volumes. So if they would have just did like either, I would have did the black pearls going all the way up. I actually like these cubes right here. That, that these stations are fine or what they could have did was they could have wrapped these white chips around the black pearl going up maybe halfway anyways um let me see if there's a maker's mark on this one no there's a barrel clasp look at that oh my god look at how big it is <laughs> All right, so this one is going to be 15. And this measures, it's 11 the first stop, and then the second stop is 14 inches. So it's 11, in, it's from the back to here, 11, and then f all the way going down is 14. It reminds me of, um, is it Anne Klein, the one with the, the lion? 
This and it's, it has no wear on it. This is great. Okay, I have a few more pieces. And these are really, really fun. So hold on to your seats. Oh my god, I love this one. I seen it and I was like, hmm. Let me see. I didn't even look if there's a maker's mark on this one. <gasps> I should have known. I know I shouldn't have known because I would have never thought that that brand would make a necklace like this. So this is actually Chico's. I just I didn't know. I thought it didn't have a maker's mark because and it it it's made very very well. So let's take this off. Oh, look at the extender on that. Oh, man. That extender has some length. So, anybody... Look at that. Anybody could wear it as big as they want around the... It doesn't necessarily have to be a choker. It opens up quite a bit. It looks like it's, it's relaxing, too. So if anybody wants this, oh my god, these are so gorgeous. Fifteen. Fifteen. Um, I hate filming at night. I should have filmed in my light box. I haven't done that yet. I hate filming at night because I feel like you're just no you're not getting like the justification of how great these pieces are. But you know, if you're satisfied with like, oh it looks nice, then you know. I guess it's okay. Look at that. Oh. Okay. I have some Tagazai chips. This is a long strand. Most likely it's about 17 inches. And if anybody wants this, it is 20. I love Tagazai. It feels like butter. I have my kitty cats. You see bronze and silver? Mm-hmm. New measure. So we have the tiger's eye. Ch no, no. So bronze. You cannot take the diamonds. Okay. Leave the bright necklace there. I know you want silver to probably wear that, but no. She's not going to wear that. Yeah, it's 17. 17. Okay, enough of that. Mm. Okay, so I have this one. And this one, oh my god, this one's fun. Because I want you to look. See the glass? It looks like, it looks like those loaves of bread that come up and they have like the little creases. And, you know, they're a little fluffy. Um... In Spanish, we have what we call um, bolio. Oh my god, they're like, I guess they're kind of equivalent to what you would say um, in English. Like, they're kind of like French rolls. Oh my god, they're so good. And when they come out warm from the oven, <gasps> yeah. So, this one, let me see here, is actually marked, oh, I need to be careful, West Germany. Uh, okay, I'm having a problem here. Um, mm, the thread is like, did this lose a bead? <sighs> Please don't tell me that it, it, it's, it needs to be tightened up. No, it lost a bead. No, it didn't. Okay. It needs that thread needs to be just pushed back through there. Oh my god. Okay. Well here's the marking. Right there. It's West Germany. And it's a double strand. 
but it needs a little work right there. No, 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 Bronzy. Let go. <laughs> Stop it. <sighs> I don't know if I'm going to have time to fix that. Um, I do know somebody, but they're busy. I don't know if they could pull that up. There's no missing beads. Actually, uh, it's just, it's loose. And I don't want to snag that. Well, if anybody's up um, in the mood to fix this, um, they could have this necklace for $6. I mean, I was going to actually ask for like 12 to 15 Look at that. I'm really sad. I'm really sad that it's loose right there. I mean, it's an easy fix. Oh, pooey. Well, I just, yeah, I don't have the time. So if anybody wants, they could fix it too. It is vintage. It's signed and everything. Look at that. Look at the cuts of these beads. They're fabulous. $6. Okay, before I do this last one, um, I was looking for, oh, there goes that one. Um, I need to find this piece. Oh, got it. Once I find it, I know my cat's going to go crazy. Hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. So, when I first got this piece, I, I just seen like the different textures and the beads going on. But I'm going to tell you something. This necklace is extremely light. It feels like a feather. It's really long. Look how long it is. And if you look really closely, it looks like um, the strings, two strings were like crocheted. And then each station has three little seed beads, which kind of make me think like oh little cherries little cherry but they're not cherries you know but it's it's so light it's so light and and, and I mean not only that but when I felt it it felt really nice it's ah sorry for the shake of the camera um it's it was it's handmade all these little so um if anybody wants this one let me see her. I will give you her full length. She's long. Uh, okay. So, here, let's go. So, she is as long as 16 and a half. Oh. 16 and a half. And if anybody wants this gorgeous piece, wait, oh, we gotta fix that one. We just gotta, f let's see here. You're a little, you're a little um, loose. Well, I don't know what's going on here. Let me see. We just gotta trim her up right here. If anybody wants this necklace, um, it's 12. She's a bit delicate too. Like you can't pull. What is going on? Oh, she's getting the other tags. That's why. She's a little bit delicate. Okay. I'm just going to leave it like that. So if you're the type where you're constantly getting things caught, it might not be a good um, piece for you. But, okay. And she has to be put by herself because she likes to get um, intertwined with other stuff. So the final piece before I open up that other bag. Oh my God. I seen this hanging. And I was already looking at one rack of um, necklaces. And I seen this one kind of glistening like this on another rack. And I told the girl, what is that over there? And I go, number four, they have like 25 racks behind the counter. 
that's just one one wall on the other side they have more i was like can i see number 14 the first one. <laughs> the first one look at how fabulous these colors are so we have multiple strands we have one two three four we have five strands five strands we have the amber we have the mermaid ab we have a little bit of gold and under certain lighting this one looks see this one has a reflection of silver and then gold it's it's pivoting off of like the ambers and the other stones in black under certain lighting it it just kind of has its own life you know i'm telling you this there's the extender right there this camera is like not giving it justice at all um if anybody wants this one she is 15 oh my god sorry i'm gonna throw this darn camera um <laughs> the thing that holds on my phone it's like so low right now anyways so she does fit kind of like in a choker status and then she has layers so yeah 15 let's measure I'm gonna measure just the the outlet inside just to give you an idea so the opening Let me see here. Is about seven inches. So from here to here is seven inches. And then if you have a really small neck and you want her to go in a little bit tighter, you can. Okay. So let's go ahead and dive into. Uh, let's go and dive into this bag. Okay, I don't know if I sh if I've shown some of these are separate, and then this one was a oh I got two bags. Okay, so um this one is actually uh for my under the sea video yeah okay. So, I don't know what this is. Wait, did I did I show you guys this? I think I showed this before. Maybe, maybe not. If I if I am, then you guys are having deja vu. I don't know that maker's mark right there. Who oh, it turned? Let's see. I'm trying to get uh S N. Hmm. Maybe I don't know. So it's a really nice gold tone chain, and then it has this seed of some sort. You guys are smart. You guys always tell me what stuff is. But it's really fun. How much did I pay for this? Uh, a dollar ninety-nine. Yeah. So if anybody wants this, you guys can have it for $6. It's cute. Okay. And then, let's see here. I got this ring. And I just liked the big full lapis. I think these are maybe serpents. I don't know. I can't tell. It's kind of like too meshed. But if anybody um, wants this, where is my measuring? Everything is just such a mess right now. I just love the way that looks. Look, don't look at my nails. I need to get them done. If anybody wants this, because I know she was $7.00. Um, let me give you the size. Oh, look at Carrie. I took off the plastic girl. So she's about a eight and a half. 
Oh, she's about an eight and a half. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, if anybody wants this one, you can have it, you can have it for ten. I don't think I'm an eight and a half in that finger. That's so weird. Let me see. Mm, I don't know. Ten dollars though. Um. <clears throat> okay, so let's open this up. This was two ninety nine. Oh my goodness. Hopefully, um, maybe we could get some silver out of this bag. What is in here? <gasps> I forgot to show you guys silver. I mean, not silver. Um, earrings. Oh. Okay. Hopefully, I remember. I don't know what this is. Okay. Pie went on a necklace. Don't know what that is. Okay. Here we have a heart charm. Why did I get this bag? I'm wondering if I thought there was silver in here. It's like, um, knitted material. And it's in the glass. This might be... Uh, no, I don't think it's silver. So these are just like little loose charms. Oh, this is a pendant. It's a snowflake. But... Uh, I think it's a missing stones. And it's Mark 925. The butterflies are cute. They probably went on an earring. Oh, look at this pendant. This is really cute. She's cute. So, if anybody wants this one, $5. I could probably find a chain of some sort to match that and then these leaves I don't know what's going on with them I think maybe they went to some earrings here's another gold leaf and then what is this okay this was a button too bad it wasn't a brooch oh look at it's a butterfly Okay, I think I must have thought possibly that was silver. That's why I got it. But this is silver, the little snowflake. Okay. <clears throat> if you guys want any of this stuff for like crafts, go ahead and email me and I'll give you a really good deal. Okay, now let's get into this. And you know what? I'm going to pull this. Bronzy, you're on my ear. I'm going to pull this to the side. Because I have a bunch of earrings I wanted to show you guys. That some were kind of cool. Okay, so wait. What was this? This was $1.99. What's in here? Ooh, look at this dichroic glass. It's like a leaf, and then it has like the the iridescence in the center. I like that. I don't like these um, these necklaces right here. I feel like it do, it just it doesn't do. It's a disservice to this pendant right here. You know. Here we have. <laughs> A handmade thread bracelet. Here we have some faux red pearls. Ooh, what's this? Hopefully the beads are there on this one. Let's see here. Okay. Oh, no. Come on. Okay, 
Okay, almost there. There we go. What does this say? Granny products. I thought it said Granny Patrol. Granny Patrol. So, oh. So, <laughs> they're faux pearls and then they're clips. Well, I don't know. Are, is this to hold like a napkin or something? <laughs> For a bit? <laughs> I don't know. Glasses? So it's like, I don't know. Whatever helps, right? Um, Here's a bangle. This looks like um, Tibet style. It's actually really fun. It's probably on copper underneath. And then what flew off over here. This is handmade. This toggle is really cool. And then... Oh, wait a minute. These, these, somebody would craft. Look at all the initials. So this is really good for crafting. All you crafters out there, I know you're looking. I don't know if, if all of the alphabet is there. It looks like it. Or maybe they just, yeah. Let me know. And then, let me see, are all the stones on this one? This one is, oh, I think this is like a headband. No, it's just kind of too stretched out for a headband. I don't know, a necklace? But it would have to like sit like that. That's not gonna work. I think it's a headband. And then you could like tie a knot or something. Okay. Okay. So that's that. Okay. So I had put some earrings to show you guys. Okay, not that one. Oh, and just to let you guys know, I do have cufflinks and like tie clips. If any of you have a boyfriend or a husband and like this one, I think is, is this Hickok? Yeah. This one's vintage and this is P, the initial P. I have a bunch. So, um, I just, you know, come across them and put them to the side. So, if anybody wants some earrings, here's some big hoops, silver tone. These are five. I thought these were un like unusually pleasing to the eye. This is gold tone. Big hoops and it has the bar in the middle. These are five. Um, these have rhinestones. They're hoops and they have rhinestones all the way down. Gold tone. Five. Um, we have these. These are cool. They just have, they look like DNA. You know how DNA does the little, the turn with the sequence. All little numbers. These are five. And this is like a blackened metal, metallic, I should say. Um, here I have these earrings and they have like a little, it's kind of like a black iridescence with silver. Very, they're in very good condition. I have, um, another little backing. You just have to remind me in the email. I have all the colors. Oh, here's some cuffs. I mean, some bracelets. I think that's why. Let me see here. So here are some bangles. Oh, this reminds me of Kate Spade. I don't think it's Kate Spade at all. That's cute though, the bow. 
This one just has like a nice twist. Another twist. This one is really cool. Look at that. Um, it's flat. And then this one has like um, the silver iridescence, silver inside. And this is marked, oh, this is Monet. This is marked Monet. Okay, girl, I see you, Monet. So if anybody wants these right here, these four, I'll do $5.00. But if you want the one with the bow on it, the bow and the with the bow is five dollars by itself. This definitely looks like a Kate Spade, but it's not marked. We have some more um, silver hoops, a little bit, not as big. Oh, I love these! Look at these gold tone. Look at they have like a twist, so it gives you like a dimensional. And fill, and then not only that, it gives it like more fire. See? So if anybody wants these, these are five dollars. Five dollars to make you holla. Okay, guys. So that's. Oh, I'm looking around. I think for right now that's it. If you've made it this far, thank you. We're like almost at an hour. And, um. You know, as you're watching the video and you like something and you're afraid, like, if it may sell or something, just email me what the screenshot says. Is this available? I'll say yes or no. And then just keep watching the video, you know. But um, I just wanted to say I appreciate everybody. We are on the road to 1,600 subscribers. And, um, yeah, everybody be safe out there. And I appreciate the support. I'll see you guys in the next one. This is Soho California Vintage signing off.